I met Anne at the Jewish high school because uh, the Jewish children were separated from the non-Jewish children, so we went to, uh, to the Jewish uh, high school, and she went there too. We were in the same class, and after class I went home on my bicycle, and I heard somebody call my name, and uh, I stopped, and it was Anne. So she took me home with her, and she talked and talked and told me everything about her friends and about her life. And she said, well, you want to her mother, Jacqueline, they will stay here to dinner. And uh, from that day on, we were inseparable. You give it to your friends and they write nice things in it. And I'm so happy because to have this because many, many of them in my school were quite a lot of Jewish. This is when you, until you are, 12, 13 years old. After that, we didn't do this anymore. Ever be a sunshine, at school a sweet girl. For me, my dearest friend, then you'll, then everybody will like you. In memory of your friend, Anne Frank. After Anne left, it got worse and worse for the Jews, and my mother was thinking about her two daughters and went to the uh, German uh, office and spoke to one of the officers and told him I am not Jewish I'm Catholic and now my daughters are in danger and you must do something about it and she was very at that moment young young French woman and could talk French with the German officer and he was impressed by her I, I suppose and he said, well, I'll help you if you can prove that your, your grandparents were baptized and Catholic. Then I went to a non-Jewish school where nobody was talking about what happened to the Jews. There was nobody, I don't know, they didn't hear much about it because it was the, Dutch, the, the Jewish were very separated from the non-Jewish and maybe they didn't want to know it, I don't know, but I couldn't talk about anything that happened in my family and around me. So it was difficult for me at the same time. This is a book I wrote for young children about my friendship with and and it has to do with the way in which I felt as a child, um, how what anti-Semitism was, which I didn't know when I was four years old. I start this book at my fourth year, and it ends at the end of the war when I'm 16. There were some people who had come back from Bergen Belsen, and he asked them, have you seen my daughters? And at last he found two sisters in Rotterdam who had seen and dying. and. Uh, then he knew, they told him. And I, I, uh, this lady once said it was so difficult to tell a father that his daughters were dead. And then he cried and cried when he came to me and told me Anne was dead. He came very often because he wanted to talk about Anne all the time. And it was difficult for me because in my eyes he was an old man and I was only 16 and see him crying all the time. But my mother urged me to, to to go on talking to him because it was uh, he wanted it so much, and I think he thought that Anne was still alive in my mind. And when he told me I'm going to publish the diary, I thought, why would it is not interesting? All these talks of of a little girl who can be interested in these little stories in school, etc. That a little girl I knew would suddenly be world famous, and that was for me a very strange feeling. She would never know that she would be as famous as this, but she would have liked it. And it's very important for the world because uh, it shows that what can happen if discrimination is getting too far. She copied her farewell letter to me, which she wrote at the day she, she went into hiding. She ends her letter, 
with your best friend and PS, I hope that until the end um, that we will still we see each other again, we'll always be best friends.